please, I need to talk to you. Tom Cruise, just please. In an up premiere movie, Like a Country Song, Sunday night at 7, only on Up. On my next day of teaching, there were two issues that I still needed to take care of. First being, the Binky Fairy had come overnight and left these kids some little surprises. Daddy, where's the Binky Fairy? Fly away? Guess what she brought you? What's this? Joel's Path of Fairy Technique Works. That one's Luffy. That one's yours. What is it? It's your favorite. I got sore. Huh? Are you glad you did it now? Even though Luke was very resistant at first, as soon as he got his present, I knew that Mum and Dad knew that he would be okay. A bit of magic and a bit of willpower. Right? A bit of yeah. magic and a little bit of willpower. Yeah. And some understanding of the importance of why. Yeah. Yeah. And, look, happy as Larry. And I thought it was going to be much worse. You know what I got? Next, I needed to continue the conversation about little Eric and Mum had a few words to add to that conversation that I felt would really make a difference. Come here quickly, three of you. I found out I was pregnant with Eric on like two weeks before my 18th birthday. I was 17 when I found out. So um, it was it was hard. In, in all reality, you know the seriousness. Yeah, of I know, I know. You do? Yeah. Okay. What do you know? What do you know? Um, that I'm gonna go pregnant. Uh -huh. And I like, get a bunch of diseases. Uh -huh. So I think he understands a little bit, but I think that he still thinks that the whole sex thing is just glorified with his friends and, you know, TV and everywhere. It's everywhere. And, you know, I just try, I tried to explain the best I could. And more importantly, when you do something like that with someone at your age, it's not going to be as special and, and unique as if you waited and did it when you were older. But somebody who actually were in Care about. Life. It was very important for us to have that talk. I guess I just keep seeing him as my little guy and, you know, not growing up. I think it would be irresponsible for you to, to participate in sexual activity at your age. We're too young to be grandparents and you're way too young to be a father. But I'm hoping that we're talking about it, you know, it's going to prevent him from doing that. As the day progressed, I was really pleased to see Mum was making some real progress with the house chores that needed to be done. Good for her. Before I leave, though, there is one more issue that I need to take care of. And that's Luke and Lily's sleeping arrangements. So the first night in their new bed, Dad would be reading in stories, and Mum would be in charge of making sure that they got down for the night. You are going to sit in the middle of the two beds. Okay. On the floor. Okay. When they come out of their beds, I want you to just to turn around and say to them, it's bedtime. Okay. Okay and place them back into their beds. The next time they come out of their beds, I want you to say nothing. Just place them back into their beds. Okay? Let's do it. Then. Okay. And trouble started as soon as Dad started to get ready to leave the room. Hi, mate. I'll see you in the morning. Okay? Hey. I'll see you in the morning. Mum sat on the floor in the bedroom and I sat nearby so I could coach her. No, not out of the bed. Right here. You're talking, no talking. Okay. Just resume position. Okay. In the bed. There's a mum, you want to comfort them. So it was really, really hard not to turn around when they were crying and say, you know, mummy's right here, you're going to be fine. And then when Lily got out of bed, Luke saw this opportunity to leg it out the room. Luke's 
finally settled and went off to sleep. But Lily, she was wide awake. It seems like when you're, you're sitting there that it's never going to end, but it did. 90 minutes later, both kids were asleep, and Mum was finished. Oh, done. Oh, done. You really held on in there. Yeah. With the kids now quietly asleep, it's time for me to leave for several days so that I can see exactly how Mum and Dad are going to handle the situation while I'm gone. I'm going to make tracks, off for just a few days, leaving you guys to follow through with the techniques. Okay. I am a little nervous about her leaving and not being there with us to kind of guide us through. And you're welcome, okay? We're going to make mistakes. We're going to still do things the wrong way, but we have to learn to do it without Joe now. Coming up on Super Nanny. Give me your phone. Oh. When Eric talks back, Mom gets tough. I'm trying to suspend the service on one of the phones um, for my account. And Mom and Dad can't believe what comes out of his mouth. You cancel my phone. You canceled it. You couldn't. When Super Nanny returns, Mega Red is an Omega.